After four months of living in Papua New Guinea, we decided it was time for a holiday. So in February 2023, we booked some flights and went to East New Britain. Little did we know, we'd have one of the most profound experiences of our lives. We lived in Leh, Morobe province, and rail would catch one of the milk runs that PNG Air runs a couple of times a week. From Nadzab Airport to Kimbe in West New Britain, and then on to Kokopo in East New Britain. We arrived at Takua Airport in the afternoon and were picked up by our hotel transport. We only had a short 10 minute journey down the road to our accommodation at Ripopo Plantation Resort. After the welcome serenade from the staff, we finished checking in and started exploring the resort facilities, where we quickly found the dive shop. It was advertising a tour for swimming with hundreds of dolphins, and not knowing exactly what we are in for, we booked in, hoping for at least a nice boat ride. It was a very early start the next morning, but we were off. From the resort, which is just out of Kokopo, we were transported by banana boat to a cove at the Duke of York Islands. It wasn't long before we started to see signs of the spinner dolphins who call this place home. Watching them jump and play, it's not hard to see why they've been named spinner dolphins. The local guides explained to us that every morning, between two and three hundred dolphins come to this cove to rest, after spending the night foraging and feeding, but they're always excited to come and play when a boat drives past. The guides dropped some nets off the side of the boat for us to hold onto, and after donning our snorkel and mask, we jumped in too. Although we had read and been told that there would be hundreds of dolphins here, nothing quite prepares you for seeing them under the water just meters away. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the dolphins singing to each other.
It's not traditionally considered a great country for tourism, Papua New Guinea has some of the most pristine, untouched environments in the world, and should definitely be on your bucket list if you want to experience some raw encounters with nature that you won't be able to get anywhere else, just like we had here. <laughs> 